Hello, welcome to the third episode of Till Death Do Us Pod. I'm Michael Lee. And I am Tova Lee. Oh my God, we didn't do that episode one and two. We forgot. Oh well. We forgot. We really we're did. We're still finding our feet. It is true. You know, but anyway, we're <laughs> back. It feels like we haven't done one for a while, isn't it? Because we haven't. There you are. We haven't done one for a while. I feel like I'm too scared to move because the 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 way everything well, is set up. A new recording the system, ma- isn't it? So. Yeah, it's really yeah. Because uh, to be honest, I'm really sorry. Anybody who listened to episode one and two, the sound was not good. Because we do it via Skype. We were. We? So we're trying something new today. So hopefully yeah. this is better. Let us know. Your chair is really quick. I'm very aware move. of all. No, just don't move. Don't okay. breathe. Don't speak. <laughs> don't speak. But just don't. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. hi everybody, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so our, well, we, the last one we did was you did an interview. There was a staycation tips. I know. Oh my God, can I just say our debate about tuna in water or uh, in oil started a real thing on social media. It's trending really? everywhere. Is no, it really? No, not really. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the four people who did engage were very furious about me <laughs> having. Yeah, exactly. People yeah. really. I wasn't. Can I just say something? I usually think that I'm right about everything, as mm. you know. So when I realize that I was wrong, it blows me away. <laughs> when you say you're wrong, is it people's preference of what they prefer? Yeah, but I was sure that everybody preferred tuna in oil. And apparently, <laughs> no. apparently you were right. Yeah, everybody prefers just, tuna in water. Because it's just full of oil. It's just like, at least with spring water, it's water. You can taste the tuna more. True. It was just taste of cloying oil. <laughs> People were literally sending me emojis of vomiting. Really? Yes, you, yes, like, Bleh, and green yeah. faces, just really disgusted by me. I'm pretty really? sure I lost about 20 followers wow. <laughs> over oil oil in my tuna. But anyway, um, with regards to staycation, though, mm. the definition of staycation, which was another thing we yeah, talked yes. about last week, was that right, was, right. no, oh. that was not... Um, how do you say it? Like conclusive. A, a conclusive. Some people agreed with me that staycation meant staying in your actual home. How is that a staycation? Uh, exactly. Awful staycation. And some people agreed with you. Somebody uh, said that they were a UK travel agent. Okay. Um, and that means stay in your country. Well, I, I, I'd go with the travel agent's <laughs> expertise on that one. And since we last recorded, there's obviously been a, a much bigger yes. lockdown now, uh, unless you live under a stone we might live, uh, uh, you know, in Abroad. the US, but in Europe, um, <clears throat> there's been more of a lockdown with us in the UK now, unable to go to certain no, able to go destina- destinations. Wait, 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 that's not accurate. Able to go, but then need to quarantine on your way back. Well, not just that, quarantine, and then if you've got some kind of travel insurance, a little bit is invalid because the government says right. do not travel. Right. So basically, you're not going to go no. without any travel insurance. Yeah. So, um, so that kind of sucks. So sorry to anybody who booked their... So many people are now cancelling their holidays. I know. So annoying. I know. It's... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's uh... But if you listen to our previous episode uh, about staycations, we shared lots of tips. And also, since then, <laughs> may, I add, may I add, for those of you in the UK, uh, I've been going with the kids to real tourist places in London recently. Uh, this week, I went to the Tower of London. Uh and there was no one there. Normally there's hundreds and thousands of people. We had literally the whole place to ourselves. So if you do live in, in, in the UK and you're thinking, actually, going to London tourist destinations, which you, get, you would normally go, not going there, it'd be packed. They're not. That's not a bad trip. No. Especially if you can find a, a B&B, a, a hotels are doing deals. Is actually coming to London. Fine off. Having a, a, a long weekend in London, I think it's going to be much cheaper than us when we go to... Uh, uh, our trip to the Cornwall. southwest Cornwall. Yeah, Cornwall's really um, because that's I love expensive. how you uh, felt the need to stress that you've been doing a lot of day well, trips with the kids. Well, no, you you came to one with oh, me, thank basically. You. Thank yeah, you, you did. Thank yeah, you. You, you, you graces with your presence. Thank you. uh, yeah, but uh, I, I went to Tower of London. Yes, you did. You know. Okay. Well, today's episode. Well, I can't. You know, can I just say, can't yeah. I've been so excited about today's show. Uh, when I saw the subject matter, I was like, "Oh my god, amazing!" <laughs> There's so much I can contribute. <laughs> Years of expertise well, and really knowing 
intimately this subject. Excuse me, as a man, you should. I uh, excuse me. So first of all, our topic today is orgasms. Because, Female orgasms. Yes, but apparently I didn't know there were a lot of different types of orgasms which I didn't know about. But how, why would you say that? As a man, you should know about female orgasms, don't you think? Well, there's a list how, here. Yes. The, I mean, the, the, there's a list of twelve types. Twelve. Of or, the only twelve types I can think of immediately is twelve types of different flavored crisps. That's more <laughs> my level. I could talk about flavor crisps for hours. Trust me, poor <laughs> so, oh, roast chicken. Ugh, no, no, no. Give me that twelve type. Oh twelve types of different female orgasm. And there's some of this list I've never heard of. Yeah, but why are we talking about it today? Is because uh, National Orgasm Day is on the thirty first of July, right. uh, which is kind of like a pre to the International Day of a Female Orgasm, which is on the eighth of August. Do you think there's also a Male Orgasm Day? Because I don't think there is. It's I, funny I, that I, there's I all know. these like uh, there's uh, Masturbation Day. There's is there? yeah, Who makes this shit International up? Women's Who Day. Who makes this up? <laughs> like my favorite I mean, is. My favourite is hummus today. Yeah, that's yeah. But I mean, that's all because, well, you know, what does this mean? At midday, every day, everyone knocks one out? What, what well, happens? yeah, that's the whole And there's time zone problems, but... <laughs> really, it's just... I mean, some of the stuff... I, I get Valentine's Day. I get that people, you know, you, you can sell more cards and chocolates and flowers. Oh, my God, they should do <laughs> Orgasm Day cards. You see, that's a startup. That's a great idea. Yeah. Like Valentine's Day. And, you, you know, maybe like a lot you of know? female uh, women, you, you, you're still waiting for it uh, <laughs> to arrive. Uh, maybe that No, but you open like it that. up and it's like basically a big clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, wow, right. I like it. Maybe it makes sounds as well. You know, there was a music one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good, I don't know. Anyway, this is anyway, going happy, somewhere wrong. Happy National Orgasm Day Yay! for all of you out there. Uh, well Celebrating. Done. Well done. I mean, <laughs> you know. Anyway, so when I researched this uh, episode, I was actually shocked to discover how many types of orgasms there are. And mm. we did speak to um, uh, the lovely Venus O'Hara. And that was episode one, which, by the way, if you guys missed, you got to go and listen to it because it was amazing. She is a orgasm activist and a... Uh, toy a sex toy um um how do you say expert, that? expert and reviewer by the way your father uh -huh. really liked that oh, episode of the podcast he came yeah. in on sunday i was like oh i love that lady well, venus strap yourself in there's a little <laughs> doozy coming up right now you should bring her back on the show so we are actually talking to her again and hopefully she will come on the show right. again um anyway so this one i mean really i know I mean, so anyway when i researched it i was actually in shock to discover i also felt quite pressured why? You know, because it's like, oh God, there's twelve different types. Mm. I don't think I've had I've had all of them. Well, so, I hope you not. Know. I've had but some of them. This coming up, extraordinary. <laughs> I hope you haven't had some of them. <laughs> I mean, really. it's, we're not going anywhere, and everybody's stuck at home in the staycation. Maybe that should be our mission. You yeah. know, ticking off different one a day. Of, one, one a day. day. <laughs> yeah, do one a day. Them. Okay. Do you want yeah. to start? And well, see well, well number are. one, number one, I think you can even even I knew of. The clitoral <laughs> orgasm. Clitoral. I like saying clitoral, but you're like clitoral. Clitoral. I was, I was, I was oh, just okay. pronouncing like it in a, in a, in a. I think you're very way. farce. This is no, no, I'm here. Uh, I could, good, my okay. voice is going slightly. Okay. Um, so that's the most common type yes, of orgasm. Yes. But you'll be amazed, by the way, that there's a very, very high percentage of women who have never experienced an orgasm during sex. Right. Actually, there's uh, quite a lot of women who've never experienced an orgasm, period. But a lot, most women don't experience it through uh, sex. That kind of means that most women masturbate. I just, right. I just felt like I needed to put that in, you okay. know, just to bring it up. Uh, but yeah, and also... We'll have a very, very good washing machine. What? Oh, sit on it? Mm. But isn't that like a movie thing? Do people actually do that, do you think? I think so. I don't think so. I've no, never sat on a washing, washing machine. machine. No, no. There's really? perfect toys for that. Why okay. would I sit on my washing machine? I don't even know where my washing machine is. <laughs> yeah, you never go in there. <laughs> don't. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's why you yeah. do the washing all the know. time. Amazing. Who knows? You a kitchen last week. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Yeah. So number one, we all we all know that one. Yes. You know, well done. Number two, I can't believe I'm reading this out. Yeah, I never go thought on, go in all on, my years on. growing up, my one day you'll be sitting doing a podcast with your wife, 
talking about the 12 types of female right, orgasm. This is really Never important it. stuff. It's important. It's, it's, it's very important for women everywhere. Okay. Number two, the G-spots. Less common, less well-known, um, but you get a wow G-spot sensation, apparently. You see, the G-spot, I feel like, always has been like a big mystery because... Like growing up or as a teenager or a young woman, nobody ever talked about the G-spot. And then suddenly I remember somebody saying, oh, but the G-spot, the G-spot, there's a different type of orgasm. It's better. And then you kind of, you feel like shit, you know, because honestly, because you kind of like go, well, did I have it? Didn't I have it? By the way, do men have different types of orgasms? <laughs> not me. Not that I can think. I mean, it's mainly just, oh, the fall asleep. <laughs> To be quite honest, I, mean, I, I don't know. Maybe speak to some <laughs> men's experts. But it's pretty, pretty much it, really. Because why you do know? men like? Why are men like so simple? <laughs> no, women with women, it's always so complicated. Mm. It's like we can't just have one type of orgasm. We yeah. have to have twelve, you know. Very and it's true. like another way of us feeling like inadequate. <laughs> it's like if you can't have those twelve types of orgasm, are what you? I, what you I love, what I love in the, the research is, is is kind of how to get them. Yes. So, go on, talk us this through. This one it. says, um, basically, two uh, the G spot two inches inside the vagina on the front wall. Um, I think, immediately think of DIYs, but technically, this is DIY now, isn't it? Try massaging with your finger in a come hither motion. Yes, that is the, that hither. is the motion. Come hither. Yes. If it feels amazing, congratulations. If it feels like nothing specials. There are other ways to explore it. Anyway, that's 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 number two in your 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 hit list. Of, it's so of annoying buttons. because wait, I don't know if I'm speaking here on behalf of anybody else out there who might be listening, right? But I like somebody once told me, oh. I said, well, I don't know if I've had an orgasm through my G-spot. And he said, oh, if you've had it, then you know. And, like, I find that really condescending. Oh. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, like, really mm. annoying. It's mm. like, no, but I still don't know. Like, I, I'm, no, I do not know. And I refuse to accept that as an answer. Yeah, I just needed to say that. All right, you do number three. Okay, so number three, where is it? Is, okay, this took me by surprise. Anal orgasm. Okay. Yeah, apparently it's a thing. Um... I, I never knew that. You can actually have an orgasm through anal sex. Not for everybody, okay? It's not everybody cup of, a cup of tea, but it's apparently some people feel pleasure from anal it. Anal walls are rich in nerve endings. But I thought Did that was a that? man thing. No? I, I, I don't know. I, no. I, 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 I've, I've never received it. I have no idea, uh, you know. Maybe exactly. that's why, uh, you know, this butt plugs. You know, butt oh, plugs? Is that really? why butt plugs have, uh, were invented? Oh, it seems so. Number four, when I read it, I immediately thought of food because mm -hmm. uh, it's a blended <laughs> orgasm. So I immediately thought of a blender, a nice milkshake. Um, but this uh, sounds complex, it's actually simple. Basically, it's a mixture of multiple areas of your body being stimulated simultaneously. So you can't pinpoint one sensation. But a mixture, a lovely blend. This is why I really like, I know like this cringes you, but let's be honest here. No, no, no. This is why I think like uh, sex toys are great. Okay. So, uh, you know, like my, well, you're, you're kind of used to stumbling uh, upon my. Tripping up over them. Yeah. Tripping yeah. up over them everywhere. Mm. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> I know. But like, it's really good because they do that. They do that thing that it's like also external and also so internal at the same time mm. and uh, you can control them so like they have different features you know so like it goes like like it can they can go, both be going at the same time or you can have like a rotation between but it always makes me laugh i always wonder who are these people who design them mm. and decide on the rhythm because mm. it's very interesting it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like how, how is this established you know I'm sure they right are. Right? Yeah, well, absolutely. I know, and I've never liked any of those rhythms. I oh. just, I just like a full like. <laughs> 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 you know, just <sighs> stop with this nonsense because I get uh, too, I get too engrossed in the rhythm trying to figure sound. out. Yeah, 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 trying to figure out. Is well, this a song? Is this like? Stop rapping over yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> back going on. Literally. So yeah. Okay. Wow. Number five. Multiple <laughs> orgasms. Again. Uh, again. Quite, I'm sorry, but puts a lot of pressure on women. The multiple orgasms. Like, finally, you've learned how to have an orgasm. They came up and they said, no, nah, there's a G-spot orgasm. even better. And you're like, oh, okay. You look for your G-spot. Mm. You found the G-spot. <laughs> but have you had a multiple orgasm? Mm -hmm. 
Which so that's you... one after another with no rest. Yeah. Very tiring. Um, <laughs> And you this, put it that way, and then awful. this says again, from a medical point of view, uh, extra oxytocin floods your brain. Is basically what happens, and then you're ready for another one. Wow. You know. Yeah. Uh, so what's the difference between multiple orgasm and a chain of orgasms? Well, they're saying here there isn't really. It's a sequential, as a chain. Oh so right. So one after another right, is right. multiple. <clears throat> and then, like, I think uh, the more you have, like, the the closer the gap is mm. between them. Yeah. I don't I just have to say again, potentially I'm like a different, uh, a strange in that aspect, but I just feel like the first orgasm is always the best one. And like after that, it's just downhill, no. you know, like I don't, I don't feel like the next, if you have more than one orgasm per session, the, the next one is not as, as strong as the first one. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't understand like the, um, you the know, need, the, the excitement, the need. yeah, why would you want to have so okay. many? Cause they're not as good. Do you know what I mean? But maybe that's just me. I'm wondering. Yeah, right to here. our listeners, to, yeah. to, da to Mike's dad, John, <laughs> could you please let us know what you think <laughs> about uh, this topic? This next one again, I've never heard of. Uh, oh, yeah. Sleep sleepgasm. Sleepgasm. I love that name. One you get when you're in your sleep. You see. Normally during a vivid dream or when you're very deeply relaxed. Yeah. This one's frustrating to me. You know, I've had some sexy dreams in the past. You've never had a sleep orgasm. No, because always when you're about to have the orgasm, you wake. Oh. It's very frustrating. I know men obviously have sex gasms because don't they? Oh, wet dream. Yeah, wet it's dreams. It's like a when wet you're dream. Young. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you're young, you get wet dreams. I think there's that's all it, of, isn't um, it? Nowhere to go. Yeah. yeah, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> And has nowhere to go. Well, I think when you're young, I think you're, you're whatever, you're virile and all that. Oh and, my god! You know, uh, yeah, sleep chasm, which is uh, it's quite nice because also I think like it suits people who just generally are quite lazy. You know, like sex takes a bit mm. of, of effort, so like yeah. you know, you can just like have sex in your dreams and orgasm. That's fantastic. Like I wish yeah. I could have a sex chasm. Yeah, either the next one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, let's 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 do a break there because we've done about halfway through. Okay. Like a sort of top ten. Let's let's do a. Um, Let's do a, a, a break there. A little break. Okay, and, uh, so... We'll be back after the break. What are we saying? <laughs> I've written down the break. Carry on with it. Okay. So, uh, Baking Dad, which started as a joke but has developed into a new show. The kids basically wanted me to bake and I don't bake, so I said, why doesn't Daddy do it? Mike, being the fabulous dad that he is, obliged, and now he's learning new skills. Uh, you can find it on my website and, of course, on IGTV. Yeah, I mean, I started with a strawberry cake, then he landed on the floor. There was an apple cake, nearly forgot to put the apples in. Try baking, they said. It'll be fun, they said. They kind of lied. But go and check it out. I just, like, sniffed. Mm. Was, was that, was, is that it? Yes. There's no other ads? No, we'll okay. do the TikTok right, wipe okay. at the end. Fine, all right. Yay. Hey, so we're, we're back. We're back. I hope you enjoyed that break. Uh, it was amazing. Sure it was fascinating. It did really you, was. Did you press pause, go for a cup of tea? <laughs> Or, or have maybe, an orgasm. Or maybe go off and, and have a you know, an orgasm. A cheeky anal. Yeah, a ch <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Back in the top 12. Yeah, in at num number, number seven. Number seven. Uh, cervical orgasm. This See, is the result. This I did not know. Really? No. This is a result of deep penetrative, penetrative sex. Oh, doggy style. The penis <laughs> or sex toys taps the opening of the cervix. You need to build up to this to be fully around. Be, uh, be careful to avoid cervical bruising. Yeah. Sounds a bit weird. Yeah. Uh, but doggy style is, 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 is kind of the way to go it's with this It's the way one. to go. You say you've never had a <laughs> cervical... I don't know. No, I don't think so. You see, I feel... This is the thing. This list is making me feel really bad about myself. Yeah. Okay, U-spot. Well, I've, ne I've never heard of the U-spot. No. Have you heard of the U-spot? No, as in what? Uretha? What does Uretha. that mean? You're Uretha. Um, Where are you we from? Oh. Ah, who would have thought the urethra is for more than just peeing? The U-spot is actually surrounded by some hidden parts of the clitoris. And when stimulated, hey guys, hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> it can yeah. result in ejaculation or squirting. Mm. Wow. <laughs> they maybe put a towel down before. Um, uh, no, I've never had a U-spot. It says orgasm. that you can buy internal urethral ah. vibrators. Yes. Wow. Yes. 
See, Again, who, who tested these? I don't know. Get out, make it like I deep it. I have found it. I mean, you know. I, I just think that that's quite, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I've never had it, but to me, it sounds a bit annoying. Because if it makes you Painful. feel... Also, but also if it makes you feel like you might want to pee, like, I don't, uh, I don't think that feeling is nice. But maybe we were, I don't know. Has I anybody had a you spot orgasm? Or, or has had cervical bruising? Uh, oh, I mean, that. How painful. that must be very painful. It must be painful. You okay, know. following by. Well, this, this, I mean, you, you, I've never heard of the U spot. This one, I just literally thought they made up. The A spot. What no, because A-spot. actually, Venus O'Hara in uh, episode one talked about the A spot. She well, did. She talked about the it. The A spot is the anterior fornix exogenous zone located right above. The cervix in the area of the belly button. That's really getting quite high up, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's difficult to reach. So best to get your partner involved. Mm. Okay. Uh, start with lots of lube, and get the partner to touch the A spot with their finger or a toy to pull down across the front wall. For what again? I'm thinking like some sort of DIY. You, it's not the front wall down, shall we? To decorate a wild your and noisy face. orgasm. So maybe you know maybe the kids were asleep yeah. quiet. Right. Again, it, to me, it feels like a lot of work. It does, and you you, know? you need utensils for this <laughs> one. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you, you have to go in there, but you bring your flashlight. Yeah. You know, and like really, really go and search. An but it is a thing, and like I said, uh, Venus O'Hara spoke about this a lot, and she knows how to have them. So if this is something that wow. anybody's interested in, you definitely have to go and check out uh, her page because she talks about it a lot. Okay. Next one, nipple orgasm. This is not something that I thought possible, but it's definitely um, a thing, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's not possible for everyone, apparently, uh, which I found quite surprising. Mm. For some people, nipples and breasts can play, uh, can be so intense that it brings on an orgasm all by itself. Um, that's again, it triggers the release of oxytocin. But like, so it, but but it's so it's a different type of orgasm though, because you don't feel it obviously, you know, mm. between your legs, right? Right. Like, what? So like, your boobs are orgasming? Like. <laughs> I don't think so. What does it mean? <laughs> but you do, you no, feel it like in your... It's a normal orgasm. Really? It's just the nipple, I don't know. I do... <laughs> How many nipple have an orgasm? It's impossible. <laughs> like you still get a normal orgasm, but it's brought on by all this clean nipple play. <laughs> Are you sure? It's like saying you had a nose orgasm. <laughs> Rub my nose. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, because I mean... think about it. <laughs> like, that's it. Different parts of your body, like an ear orgasm, an eyebrow orgasm. No, do, do you no, think so? Like no, you rub your causes, nipples enough, and it makes your it literally causes an orgasm without vagina, touching like, downstairs. Oh. Wow, I'm assuming that wow. one surely. Yes, but in that case, the same theory should apply on men, don't you think? No, possibly, possibly. I wonder. Anyway, number eleven. <laughs> I mean, this is another one that I just found <laughs> like, quite strange. Yeah, but quite funny. Core, core, core orgasm. Well, it that? doesn't sound fun. This is when you get. Through exercise, <laughs> EIO, EIO, which is an exercise induced orgasm. Wow. Uh, usually focusing on your core <clears throat> tummy muscles. It can happen during exercise or shortly after, and happens as a result of all the feel good hormones flooding your body when you're doing physical exertion. Now, this is interesting. A study by the University of Indiana asked people who'd experienced a core orgasm what they were doing when it happened. 45% said abdominal exercises. Wow. So you're doing your sit-ups and you get an orgasm. 26.5% said weightlifting, which to me brings a whole new mo meaning to lean and jerk. Um, <laughs> bizarre. 20% from yoga. That can be very embarrassing if you're in a group class. Yes. I'd imagine. 15% 15, 15 from cycling. 30% from running. And 9.5% from a brisk walk, which again will make the Olympic... Um, uh, race walking events quite interesting. Are you sure? See people it's a, walking. But you see, oh, oh, ah, oh, 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 could be quite quite interesting. Are you sure that. it's an orgasm these people are experiencing and not yes. just like a cramp? But I think it must not even have a cramp. You know, or like maybe? a heart attack, or pain. like some sort of seizure. You know, like I don't. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, they, they are having orgasms through wow. exercise, weightlifting, wow. yoga, cycling, and running. Wow. Incredible, isn't it? So again, is this orgasm experienced in your yeah, well, vagina yeah, area? Yeah, I assume so. It's, wow. it's basically the feel-good hormones released during physical exertion. That's incredible, isn't it? I don't think you feel it, though, in your in your sexual orgasm. 
<laughs> I feel like you just feel it like in your whole body, maybe? No. Well, I don't know. Anyone out there no, has, okay. has well, Yeah, we need to. Has anybody out there do any exercise? Through walking. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyone out know. there do any exercise? Anyone? No idea. No. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, that's a very interesting one. The and the last orgasm. one, the last one. Uh, this is expanded sexual response. In ESR is a type of orgasm only experienced by some women who are able to have multiple, prolonged, more intense orgasm that bring on flashes of light and colour wow. in their vision, wow. out-of-body experiences and feeling of earthquakes. Surely that's just taking... Wow. Doing drugs. I was going to say that. Isn't that Sounds like ecstasy? a great trip. You're dropping you know, an E-tab. Like... <laughs> it's, it's, it's the music. I mean, wow. Flashes wow. of light and color. But you see, that like, really I feel like there, I'm 40. It? I'll be 45 in October. And honestly, I haven't lived. Out of body experience. I have to. I'm going to. Do you know what? I did the mom life crisis a couple of years ago and had uh, a, this a, a bucket. This is my bucket list. I now. think the list. Wait, of... my bucket list now is to have every single orgasm oh, on this list. So I've done the clitoris. That's, really, the that's really a knackering weekend. I'm pretty sure I did the G spot one. Okay. And okay. I've done multiple. multiple. Yes. So I have to go for. Um, oh, blended, I think, as well. So I need the anal. <laughs> orgasm <laughs> sleep gasm honestly i even mm -hmm. had a sexy dream this morning but i never managed to climax so that's my my intention now cervical u spot a spot nipple core or core orgasm okay. do i have to have the more one no, okay. run keep running <laughs> keep running no keep going keep going <laughs> i'll pick you up later <laughs> okay i'll try oh, that one dear. and then ESR. I mean, that's God, there's quite a I'm, lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, this one here. Oh, How was it for you, darling? Well, I had an out of body experience. Wow. I thought I was a Native American and I was in the plains of America. I mean, out of body experience. Out of body. Yeah, like I will, yeah. I don't know. That's that's something, isn't it? Isn't I mean, it sounds out great. Out-of-body experience. Yeah, it sounds fantastic. Wow, though. amazing. Wow. Yeah, well, that was that was great. I I, I, feel I, like I learned a I feel, lot. I feel like I've orgasmed. I'm, ex I'm exhausted now. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm better. I want to a cigarette. I want to go to bed. A little bit peckish. Yes. Okay. Amazing. Well, I I really liked it. I I really did like mm. it. Uh, so, um, if you've experienced any of those, uh, let us know. Get in touch. Um, leave us a review on uh, iTunes. And don't forget to subscribe and download. Yeah, subscribe. The podcast comes out every week on a Tuesday. If you like what you listen to, make sure you give us a nice review. Yeah, that really, really Tell helps your us. friends, share the love, and we will see you back here next week. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, Bye guys.